The book weighs six pounds. What value of P is needed to move the book? Step one, draw a free body diagram. So I have my 10 inch book, which I'm not drawing to scale in this particular situation because it makes it easier to label my distances. Weight is uniform, assumption, so it acts in the middle, one half and one half from either side. I'm gonna take the point right under W to be my point O. Friction acts tangent to the surface and opposes P. Normal acts norm the normal force acts normal to the surface at some distance X away from O. Step two, do your equilibrium equations. Some of the forces in X just gives me F equals P. Some of the forces in Y gives me N equals W. And then if I take my moment about O, I have NX equals P times two. That's the moment about O. F and W do not appear here because they pass through the point O. Now that I have my equilibrium equations, I can say what's going to move the book. The first thing to consider is whether or not it's going to slip. Notice I have not made any assumption yet about mu times n. But if it's slipping, if motion is impending, now I can say f is equal to mu times n. This is if it's slipping. Mu times n is 0.3 times n, which is equal to w, which is equal to 6. So f equals 1.8 pounds, but of course f equals p by my sum of the forces in this x direction. So I can say this book will slip when p equals 1.8 pounds. That's not the answer. I have not considered the other way that I could move the book. The other way to move the book is if it tips over. It tips when my normal force up here does not, no longer acts on the body. So if x equals one half inches, then n is not on my book. And of course that doesn't make any sense. For equilibrium we have to actually have the forces acting on the body. So if I plug x equals one half up into my sum of the moments equation, I get nx equals 2p, n is equal to w, remember? So six pounds times one half is 2p, gives me p is 1.5 pounds. Now, I have two values for p, 1.8 and 1.5. If p starts at zero and increases until the book moves, clearly I'm gonna to get to 1.5 first. So p equals 1.5 pounds is needed to tip the book. That's the answer. If you came back and said, what, what, what would I need to slide the book? To slide the book, P needs to be applied lower, because right now what I'm doing is I'm tipping it over. But if I apply P, point, P equals 1.8 pounds, then if plugging that into the sum of the, force, sum of the moments about O, I could get NX equals 2P, X equals 0 0.6 inches. So anything greater than 0 0.6 inches and the book will tip over.